let us continue with our lesson and in this lesson let's go and create our first android service so for that what i will do is uh, i will go to the apps over here and i'll go to the java section and let us select our main package over here and inside this i will create a new package one more and i'll just call it as a services and we'll be putting all of our services inside this and just select the new and i will go to the service over here and i'll just select the service and you can give any class name for your service and we'll just leave as exported and enable don't worry about this uh, on the next lesson we'll go and see about what actually exported and enable with this function enable does and select the language we'll be using a java and click on finished and this will create our first android service and we have to override some of the method that as we have uh, saw in our previous slide that there is an on create and on start command and also on destroy so override that method we'll go to the override over here we'll go to the code and override method or we can simply press a control o and i'll just select the on create and on start command and on destroy so basically we will be overriding this three method for now and just click on okay so we have uh, successfully created that overrided the three method and what we'll do for now is uh, let us create a one tag for now and i'll just say as a private static final and i'll just call a string as a tag and let us keep a tag name to the my service and that class that get simple name yeah, let's get a simple name from this class and we have a tag over here and let us uh, add a log over here log dot uh, e let us uh, put an error and i'll just say as a tag and the tag name so i'll just say on create so i'll just say on create and we similarly will copy this and paste it on over here and uh, what i will do is sorry before return over here and let us give a tag name as on started on start command and we have a destroy so let's go down over here and let us also paste it over here sorry here and i'll just call on destroy so basically we have our uh, one default uh, constructor which is my service and on create and on start command and on destroy so when our service is first created we will call this on create method and it goes to after on create it will go to the on start command and the on start command is a place where we will be putting all of our logic that what actually our service will be running and finally then we have one on destroy and that's the final phase of our service where our service get terminated and also we have one more method that is called to uh, stop our service and on the next lesson we'll go and see about all of this that how we can stop start the service and how we can stop the service so i will see you in the next video till then have a great day